Uh, today we're partnering up with our uh, business friends from the um, Merrill Technologies Group and Three Rivers Corporation. We're trying to partner up two or three of skilled trade professionals with one to two of our students in fabricating uh, metal gondolas, which are a, a, a fabricated steel container to hold weld coupons for future weld training. The Merrill Technologies Group donated all the materials. Hi, my name is Kevin Leslie. I'm the Director of Program Management from Merrill Technologies Group. Today we're doing the final uh, welding for some bins for scrap metal. One of the things that we did, we worked with some of the engineering students at Dow High School to come up with the design for the bins. And then Mr. Chris Wall approved that design. And we decided rather than Merrill just welding and fabricating these things for the schools, that we would make it a collaborative event where the students were working with professional welders. To start as a welder, it opens up a path to many different careers. You can become a welding engineer, you can get into management positions. It just, it, it, it's an entry level position that can take you wherever you really want to go. Now, welding could lead to pipe fitting, structural steel, uh, sheet metal, uh, all these different avenues. I'm Del Mars, uh, recently retired uh, 40 years from Three Rivers Corporation. We have one Three Rivers rig out here with Travis. There's going to be a shortage and here you got young folks, male and female, that uh, this program, they got a lot of, as you can see, a lot of nice equipment in here. So they could come right to work uh, 18, you know, right out of high school. If, you know, with that new uh, shear behind you and, you know, with all this uh, new equipment, it's stuff that's out in the industry right now, so the students can get exposed to a lot of the things that are being used out there. Right now across the country, there's a shortage of welders, and everybody is looking for more welders, and we just want to show that it's an excellent career path for these young people to get involved with. They're predicting in five to six years it'll be severe. So yes, there's a great <laughs> demand uh, these folks that are interested to show them what they what the potential is out there and the work right here in the valley. Uh, my name is Avery Cherry. Last Friday we put together I'd say about 10 or 12 metal gondolas and the folks from Three Rivers and Merrill came over and helped us put them together. So like after I did my weld they could just look at it and already tell that the machine was too cold so they had to turn it up and then they, the weld came out just a lot smoother and a lot better. Mr. Wall I think just like opens a lot of doors and you know creates new opportunities for us that we don't get in other classes and really just lets us use hands-on experience for everything. It's the whole community here is why we're doing this. Th think about just this week. We have a supportive community that just renewed our operating millage, which helps to run CTE. We have a wonderful and supportive administration, not just in our building, but our central office administration, including our new superintendent, She's been here a half dozen times this year seeing what's going on. Our school board is incredibly involved because a lot of the large purchases, up to three quarters of a million dollars now in the last three years, have been approved by the Board of Education. So we have their support. And honestly, let's not forget what really matters here. These parents in this community are raising terrific young men and women with a strong work ethic. This is Friday. Most people want the night off. And yet the work ethic that was generated in the Midland area is here right now with over a dozen students welding when they could be out doing fun things. They're here to learn. And so it's the wonderful students that we've had and everybody in between that, that helps us out. That's, that's why we're doing this.